Okay, so why is it that you feel like you don't belong here? Third part, I'm going to end my story here. And then um, after ending my story, after finishing with my own personal past and why is it that I don't belong here, I'm then going to uh, wrap it up by giving you the several reasons why you feel like that, okay? So, in my uh, specific case, I've been abduct abducted, as I've been telling you, I'm an avian. Um, my Earth family is not my real family. There are people who actually, my the people playing my parents in this lifetime, who had me and raised me, they are actually souls that work for the shadows, but they don't know. Which explains their behavior and their abuse, um, their continuous abuse uh, growing up. And even now, again, if I try to reconnect with them, they will abuse me without even understanding why. This is just what they do because they've been programmed to do so. They don't know that, but they've been programmed to do so. And th this year, when I had this uh, uh, quantum, um, bio quantum bioengineering session with this doctor, and uh, she finally, she told me all of these things that I'd already remembered through astral traveling and lucy dreaming um, about what happened to me. Uh, I remember telling her, yeah, I've completely severed ties. And she was like, I'm sorry, but that's exactly what you have to do because they don't, they're not conscious, they don't know, but they work for the shadows and they've been your captors and not your parents which and I'm she's telling me this and I'm like I know I know all of that I just didn't want to accept it you know but you're not telling me anything new I knew all of that and uh we know we know you know you know so that may also explain a lot of experiences that a lot of you may have had with your progenitors and why it, for a lot of us it feels like we don't exactly have parent we haven't exactly had parents but more like progenitors you know like what David Attenborough calls uh, a lot of those um like the word that David Attenborough mentions when referring to a lot of species and how they treat their um, offspring, uh, you know, a lot of the other animals. And so, what have I done? I've severed ties completely with that. Uh, I'm now, I've now decided, and I've been told by my people as well, the avians, that, well, since you have to be here, you might as well do something with it now since you have to be here stuck in 3d in this planet where you're not you were not supposed to be you might as well teach you your mission now is to create and teach and you ask well create what create what well my book is one of them and because in this book i write all the information about my experiences with astral traveling and what we hear call lucy dreaming which is not really dreaming it's our soul getting catapulted into these other dimensions to have these experiences these other experiences in these other in these astral planes in the astral plane be it dense or light depending on where your vibration is at the moment um on a given day and that's what i'm doing now and that's that's the end of it for now that's the end of it for now so moving on for me why is it that you feel like you don't belong here first thing if you feel like you don't belong here it's because you don't halas as the arabs say i love this arab expression Especially the Lebanese, they say this a lot. Halas, meaning finished. Halas, that's it. There's no more, there's no, don't doubt yourselves. Don't doubt yourselves, okay? This is my Southern European physical DNA coming out now. Don't doubt yourself. Stop it. Can we stop that nonsense? I'm also speaking to myself, like, can we stop that nonsense? Haven't you received enough information from your guides already? Haven't you received enough synchronicity in your life by now to understand that you can't ignore the information that you get? If you feel like you don't belong here, it's because you don't belong, well, duh. And I'm doing this to myself back then when I was doubting myself. Well, duh, it, well it's, it's simple logic. Can we be logical here for a, se for, for a second? Because all of these things are so down the rabbit hole and are so out there that if we don't employ our minds and logic in order to understand them and in order to tackle them and deal with them, we literally go crazy because we are in the dense reality place. It's an asylum. Planet Earth is an asylum. It's a place for sickos and weirdos. The people who are on this planet is because they've created karma with this planet and they are now here um, 
they have been here to release their karma and now the good news is that the planet is entering a stage of where, where it's more a school than a place of karma release okay thus far and until 2000 i'm told that until 2056 58 more 58, I'm getting told that more around 2058, the planet will stop being just a place for releasing karma, a place for a place of hardships, because it's been a place of hardships and karma releasing, 3D dance reality place for hardships and karma releasing. Around 58, it will start being more of a school planet. It will rise in vibration. It's what a lot of new agers call the ascension, and it will literally ascend a bit in vibration. Uh, or a lot and stop being a place of hardships and start being more of a school and with that process is already starting that new energy of school planet as opposed to hardship and karma cleansing planet has already been entering in this year in these last few years okay since 2012 around 2012 it started this energy of it becoming more of a school than a place of hardships has already come into this planet so what i get from the avians my people is selma you were abducted you have to be here now since you're stuck in this place in this 3d place which is no longer your vibration but it's where you have to be stuck right now you might as well take on the opportunity to uh, take part of the schooling process now that the planet is starting to become more of a school than a place of hardship you're being might, might as well be become a teacher might as well become a teacher because you already know all these things you don't have to learn them as most of the people of this dense reality planet have to so teach them teach them do that the ones who are ready to listen will listen the ones who are not ready to listen will go about their business a few of them will try to abuse you because they are really because they are beings of really dense vibration but that's fine you take that with a pinch of salt because you're evolved enough and this is them speaking to me and telling me dude you're evolved enough not to let it get to you just delete whenever you see a mean ass comment just delete it block and keep it moving keep it moving and from time to time i'm you know i have to reconnect to them every day I, i'm connected to them you have to to, to get those reminders like you're supposed to be evolved enough not to let it get to you and whenever it comes just delete it don't give it any importance don't dwell in it don't focus on that kind of energy so that you don't attract it focus on the energy of those who are ready for the information who have been craving for it who are ready to move on those others like you who are stuck in here for whatever reason and will need your calm and your voice and your heart to remind them of who they are as well and will really appreciate your message because they've because they've always felt like you and they know that just like you they know that they don't belong here but again um and again tell them that the solution is not exactly to kill themselves of course you can it's free will free will of course you can do that free will of course you can check yourself out but i know also on an energy level that that's that's a word that's more of topping it up with another problem than solving it because usually People, people who off themselves end up usually on the other side because they off, most people who off themselves do so in a, a dense energy vibration. On the other sides, their souls end up in dense vibration uh, dimensions as well, usually. What people here on, in this side call hell. Not because they're getting punished or anything. No, this, it's because that's the vibrational match to their vibration. Usually people who kill themselves do so out of desperation. If you do so out of clean, impartial, emotionless choice, that doesn't happen. But if you do so, if you kill yourself, if you commit the S word out of emotional desperation, you end up in an emotional desperation dimension or reality after you exit this place. And then you have to be rescued and God knows how long that could take and what could happen to you in the meantime. So that's why, but this is just my advice. You do with it what you want. You, you can trash it. You can feel free to trash it even if you want to. I myself, I'm just telling you why I won't do that. I don't do that because I know what can happen on the other side if I do it, right? So I'd rather just take on, also I feel like it would be a bit selfish of me. And I'm just talking about me. I'm, I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about what you should do. I'm just telling you what I know and why I don't do it, okay? Uh, it would be selfish because towards my sister, for instance, first of all, because I feel like she came in to, 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 as a rescue, she came in to support me and to love me and as a rescue so that I don't feel totally lonely in this situation where I've been kidnapped and where I'm with people who are not, where I was born from people that are not my family and don't care about me and don't want great things for me. 
So it would be sell. It would be me abandoning her when she came in to actually rescue me. When she came in to actually be a support for me, and also in the sense that the planet is now transiting into school mode, and I could take on the opportunity to become a teacher. So I've learned also to see it as an opportunity now. I've learned to see it as making the best out out of what I have now, and. I feel like it would be a wasted opportunity not to try and help the people of this planet at the moment. And also, it's just another 30 years. I, I know the age where I'm going to die uh, because I've already agreed with my people, the avians, to die at that age. And 30 years is nothing. 30 years in a macrocosmic, interdimensional macrocosmic um, perspective. 30 linear time earthly years is nothing. It's, I mean, I'm 43 and these 43 years just passed like this. So it's just going to be another um, in and out breath exercise. It's just going to be another blink and those 30 years will be gone. So I just might as well do something with them while I'm here and not incur on the risk of ending up on the dark side if I take my life uh, now. Because again, depending on the emotion with which you do it, you can end up in a really worse place than this one if you do it. But again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying why I wouldn't do it and I and why I won't do it. And so why do you feel like you don't belong in this place? Again, it could be the most extreme hypothesis, which is what happened to me. Soul hijacking or hijacking or kidnapping. Energy nomad hijacking or kidnapping within the quantum. But there's another reason which is actually a lot more common that, than what happened to me. Because again, what happened to me the soul kidnapping or energy nomad kidnapping is actually an extreme. It's not totally rare, but it's the extreme, okay? It happens a lot. It happens more often than what people think. I'm not the only case of that happening in this planet. It happens a lot in places of three-dimensional reality, of dense reality. They, um, these dense species, they use places like Earth, dense reality places like Earth, 3D dense reality planets like Earth, to hide a lot of their abductees, okay? They, it's, the, it's just the type of place where that type of monkey business goes on um, and all kinds of top, other uh, monkey business goes on. But there's another one that is actually more current and more prevalent. And uh, my, I myself and these other researchers, like people who are into Gnosticism and looking for knowledge, um, anthroposophists, um, bioengineering, uh, quantum bio bioengineering specialists that study your soul, the path of your soul. Quantum bioengineering is studying the path of your soul, where you came from and why you are here and what, what, what happened while you were falling into this, coming into this place. We haven't totally understood this second one, but we've come to understand that this happens a lot to souls as well. And what is, what is it that happens a lot to souls as well? Sometimes let's say that your soul's plan you, you come from a light colony for a light reincarnation. You've planned everything that's going to happen. You've planned that you're coming to earth, that you are going to be born from those two parents because during their lucid dreaming, you met with them in the astral and you've agreed that you are, you are going to come in through them. You've done everything right. You've done nothing wrong. You've done anything right. No one has abducted you as they did me. You've done everything is going very well. And then during your descent, for some reason, sometimes during, during people's descent, during a soul and energy nomad's descent into the mother's, the earthly mother's womb, there's a derail. And it usually happens according to the, to the um, atmospheres, okay? So let's say that you're descending to come into the UK to be born to, into this British couple that you've agreed to be born to. And along the same line of the meridian, for some reason, there's a derail. Your nomad derails into another part of the meridian, into another part of the hemisphere, sorry, and you end up, say, in Lisbon, right? You have the UK with Dover or whatever. You're supposed to fall in Dover, and then you fall into, in the same line, you fall further down or further up, or in the same line, you fall further to the west or further to the east. You see what I'm trying to say? That happens, and we haven't totally understood why. It could be purposely done, like some, there could be meddling from, the, from the, the dance reality plan, from the inverse plan. Or it could just be that something happened astrally, the astral field 
like atmospheric conditions or something, or I don't know, some comet passed by and deviated you. This happens because while you are descending, you are energy, you are in the cosmos, you are in the stars and you are energy. So something may have happened in the stratosphere, in the stratosphere where that, you know, some, some cosmic event that derailed you, like the wind blowing in the wrong direction. You know what I'm trying to say? This does happen and we don't know why, we don't understand. Things like this, they do happen. We don't really know why, but they do. And it's rare, but they do, hap they do happen. It's not as grave and it's serious, as serious as you being kidnapped by uh, a seco alien species like I was, my soul was. Uh, it's usually solved, it's usually easily solvable. What happens then when that happens to you? I mean, it's shit. Don't get me wrong, it's shit because you are then getting raised in some village in Portugal that doesn't give you, that doesn't allow you the same experience that you would have had had you been raised in your place of choice, which would have been, let's say, let's say London, okay? If you had a life plan for London, that started in London, because London will propitiate for you certain things that are going to be, that are going to help you make your life happen as you wanted it. Let's say that you wanted to be, um, designer a successful designer obviously if that was your plan that's going to happen a lot more you know you know that's going to be a lot easier to happen in a place like london than in a small town in in portugal you know what i'm trying to say than if you come from a small town in portugal but one thing that i can tell you that will make you feel better about if you feel like this could be your situation that you were wrong in the born in the wrong place by the wrong parents one thing <clears throat> that I can tell you that will make you feel a little better about your predic predicament is that if that was your case, if you feel like that was your case, and it mo it's because it most probably was. As I said, if you feel like that was your case, it's because that was your case. You know what you know. Um, when that happens, there's a lot of help from spirits. If you're a light incarnation, your light mentors will help you get on track. Okay, so let's say that that's what happened to you, that you were supposed to be born in London to go to Central St. Martin's or um, London College of Fashion, um, LCF, and become a fashion designer or whatever. Let's say that that's what, what was supposed to happen. And yet you were born in a tiny little town in bum F nowhere in Portugal. And you feel like I should be in London because I want to attend uh, Central St. Martin's or LCF to become a designer. If that's how you feel, you, you ask help from spirit you ask help from your light mentors, okay? Ask for help from your light mentors. You need to ask, by the way, because of free will. They can't help you without you asking. There needs to be consent, so you need to ask first, okay? Please remember about that, because for the longest time in my life, I didn't know, <gasps> and I didn't ask. And as a result, I had a shit life, pretty much, because I didn't ask, so ask, because they need your consent. They need you to ask. Once you've asked, once you have asked your light mentors and always directed to someone, don't just ask because you may then have an obsessor come in and try to pass for a light mentor and give you a, the wrong advice. That's also something else that happens because it's, it's this 3D dance reality place. All kinds of shenanigans happens here. And so make sure that you direct your question either to God or to Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Whomever it is, direct your question to, to the people of light, okay? To the spirits of light, to the souls of light that are trying to get this planet to where it has to go. Or your light mentors. Light mentors, whatever does it for you. If you're, again, if you're Christian, ask Jesus. And I'm trying to say, oh, go straight to God. Ask the light to please help, help me get where I feel like I need to be. Because I'm supposed to be here. Help me get where I feel I need to be. And I'm not saying that the person that is born in the village can't make it to London to become a designer. Again, you can ask for help. And then um, what will happen is that you will get the help. Manifest, use manifestation a lot and ask for help and you will get the help. And soon enough, believe me, if that was the plan for you, for you to become a London designer, your light mentors will get you there. Will get you there. And will even give you a new family, like uh, friends that will become your new family, co-workers that will become your new family, you know. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's always solvable. Even my situation, which is a lot more radical 
and tragic <laughs> than this one, than the one of cosmic deviation. Sometimes there's just cosmic deviation of your energy nomad. And again, I don't know one person that can yet explain why that happens. Cosmic events that cause the deviation, we don't know, but it happens. However, when that's the case, it's solvable. You just need to ask for a lot of help from your light mentors to get you back on track, to get you where you were supposed to be. And chances are that you will even meet, meet those parents that you were supposed to have uh, eventually and become really good friends with them. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, when you ask for cosmic help, they will give it to you and you, you will get to where you have to get. Um, in my case, again, it's making the best out of what I've currently got um, and start working on manifesting uh, the life, uh, a, a good life for me here. Not the life that I should have had because I shouldn't be here. My case is more tragic than that. It's something and a half, my case. It's a lot more radical than just a cosmic deviation. Kidnapping is serious. Uh, soul hijacking and kidnapping is serious. And it has such karmic consequences, such horrid karmic consequences. Anyone that removes your free will from you is harnessing such karma for themselves that they don't know. They don't know because they aren't conscious. I mean, they harmed you precisely because they are. They don't. They have no conscience. Um, they have no conscience. And so, in my case, it's literally just make the best out of what because there's no. There was no plan for me. To, I'm not I'm not supposed to be here I've made no plan on the other side but I can make a plan now and if your case is my case if you have any inkling that your case is my case that you are literally hijacked and I hear this medium slow and Bella saying that she feels like that's what happened to her so I'm telling you slow and Bella if you ever hear this you know what you know especially with you being a medium which I'm not um you know what you know if that was your case and she speaks of this as well like i'm just doing the best out of it you know making the best out of it you know i put pop out these videos and that's it <laughs> and that's exactly what i'm doing it's interesting now i remembered her yeah now i remember that she says this from time to time it's the exact same thing so i really feel like she's right when she says that i feel like i was put in here like someone kidnapped me or something now i'm remembering her saying this wow okay so we could definitely be the same case which yeah, it could definitely be the same case. Anyway, so, but that's her path. So it's all about, you know, just trying to make a plan now. So if this is what, what happened to you also, what you can do is ask help from your light mentors. In my case, my avians, my people, to make a plan now. To, this is, this is, so this is where you start. And during lucid dream, you go with, the, you go with them to, into the astral and you make a plan for yourself now. Okay, let's plan it from now on. You're always in time to make a new plan. Always, always. This is what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, and uh, that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please, if you have any questions, write them down. I want questions, 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 questions. I can't teach without you asking me questions. Obviously, I can because I've popped out these three videos without any questions coming to me. Uh, <laughs> but it's a lot better if you have questions, okay? Because I need to know what you need to know. What do you want to know about the astral, about existence? What do you want to know? Let me know, okay? And like, subscribe, and share if you want me to continue to pop out content because there's no point to what I'm doing if there's no one watching, okay? And if there's no one absorbing the information. There's no point in put it out, putting out information if there's no one getting it. <laughs> as simple as. Love you all and see you there for my next one. Bye.